There's Lily and Daisy. They picked up their little um, bones. Uh, just, I have a lot of antlers and things lying around the ground and filled bones so that the dogs generally don't get in any way competitive about them. But I have noticed that now that Daisy's getting older and she's in the middle of her heat cycle, Willow is definitely, as you can see by the blood all over our house, but um, I think tonight I might even start letting Daisy go in a diaper because I don't know how some people get so lucky that they don't have problems with uh, the girls um, having a lot of blood, but my God, it always looks like a murder scene around here. There's so much, and Willow was the same way, and so was Shaq. So anyway, yeah, it's kind of bad. I mean, hardwood you don't worry about, and that's what we have now throughout everywhere, so it's not that big, but like, look, I'm going to have to rewash that dog bed, and those giant sheets are easy to wash, but get, it gets onto the comforter and stuff. So anyway, it's kind of a bummer, but anyway... Um, yeah, the dogs really love to chew these um, bones. And uh, like I say, they're not as high value as putting down something like a bully stick. But even then, they can, they, they're can they pretty great about never pestering each other as long as they each have one. But oh yeah, I think Willow and Daisy have prior had like a little bit of um, separation. Like they don't quite play like they used to. Willow will be six in June and Daisy just turned two. She still wants to play all the time, but she's still very annoying. And I think Willow's finally like, you're growing out of it now, but we want to make sure nothing ever happens with them. And I don't think it will. Willow has definitely mellowed, but Al does favor her and that's where your problems come in. So he and I have been actually really talking about it. Um, and then I just want to give you guys a shot of Shaq. Shacky, are you the prettiest one? I want to show you guys the collar too. Look at Shacky. Let's me show. I know. Shaq thinks I got a goodie right there. Look at Shaq. I want to show off your new little pretty collar. Isn't that so nice? She's my good girl. She's not chewing anything now, but she's looking for something else. And then these guys think I was going to. I don't have anything. They think I have the better high value stuff. But I don't. Yeah, I don't. And then Asher, of course, is in the other room. Al took him two and a half hours. This is what it takes to have such spoiled dogs. Two and a half hours to see who we call Dr. Feelgood, our ladies at the Canine Semen Center, who we like very much. And because we don't want to do, which I know a lot of people do, as I always say, that separates me from the real dog breeders, I think. Um, but is to uh, help Asher alleviate himself during these periods of daisy and heat. And because I want to get ready to make sure that doesn't get in the way of Westminster, which I have a great lucky collar for Asher that I'll have to show off that I got when I got that one for Shaq.